The Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum received an unusual donation, a piece of a U.S. Air Force combat plane that was nearly shot down over Baghdad 20 years ago. CBS's David Martin has the story of the heroic female pilot who did the near impossible to bring the plane in for a landing, saving her life. It felt like the decision could be the difference between life and death. Now retired, Air Force Colonel Kim Campbell faced that decision 20 years ago in the cockpit of her A-10 over Baghdad. The plane is built to support troops on the ground, and she had just attacked an enemy position. When I felt and heard a large explosion at the back of the airplane, and I knew immediately I was hit. Here is the cockpit recording. Who got hit? Who got hit? Happy. An Iraqi missile had severed her plane's hydraulic lines. It was just plunging to the ground completely out of control. She regained control by switching to manual mode. It's just very heavy, very difficult to fly. And even harder to land. Here she is on final approach, something she had never practiced because it was too dangerous. I wasn't sure if the airplane was just going to flip over, if I was going to crash, um, but I got the airplane on the ground. The only woman pilot in the squadron stuck the landing. To me, the best part of that mission was hearing all the guys on the radio, welcome home. I knew that I had made it. I'd survived. The plane never flew again, but Campbell, whose call sign was Killer Chick, was back over Iraq the next day. David Martin, CBS News at the Air and Space Museum.